How does my good Lord Hamlet? Well, God of mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? Aye, sir. To be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog. Have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing. But as your daughter may conceive, friend, look to it. How say you by that? Still harping on my daughter. Yet he knew me not at first. He said I was a fishmonger. He's far gone. Far gone. I, I will speak to him again. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slanders. For the satirical rogue says here that old men have grey beards, that their faces are wrinkled, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, that they have a plentiful lack of wit, together with most weak hands. All of which, sir, though I most powerfully believe, yet I hold it not honesty to have it thus set down. For you yourself, sir, shall be old as I am, if like a crab you could go backward. Uh, though this be madness, yet there's method it. Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave? Indeed, it is out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are. My honorable lord, I will most humbly take my leave of you. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will more willingly part with all. Except my life. Except my life. Except my life. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent, well. You are a fishmonger. <laughs> no, not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? Sir, to be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog, being a good kissing carrion... Have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk at the sun. Conception is a blessing, but as your daughter may conceive, friend, look to it. Still harping on my daughter. Uh, what do you read, my lord? Words. 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 What is the matter, my lord? Between who? <laughs> the matter that you read. <sighs> Slander, sir. For the satirical rogue says here that old men have grey beards, that their faces are wrinkled, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, and that they have a plentiful lack of wit together with most weak hands. How pregnant sometimes his replies are. All of which, sir, I most powerfully and potently believe. Yet I hold it not honestly to have it thus set down. For you yourself, sir, should be old as I am, if, like a crab, you could go backward. My honourable lord, I will most humbly take my leave. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will more willingly part with all. Except my life. 
except my life. Except my life. How does my good Lord Hamlet? Well, God have mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent. Ah. Excellent well. Uh, you are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord. What do you read, my lord? Words. Words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slander, sir. For the satirical rogue says here that old men have grey beards, that their faces are wrinkled, their eyes purge of the Must humbly take my leave of you. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will more willingly part with all. Except my life. Except my life. Except my life. Fare you well, my lord. These tedious old fools. You go to seek the Lord Hamlet. There he is. What's he doing? Talking. To himself. My honoured lord. My most dear lord. My excellent good friends. How dost thou, Guildenstern? Ah, oh, Rosencrantz. Oh, oh, good lads. How do you both? As the indifferent children of the earth. Happy that we are not over happy on fortune's cap. We are not the very button. Nor the soles of her shoes. Yes. Neither, my lord. Then you live about her waist or in the middle of her favours. Faith, her privates we. In the secret parts of fortune. <laughs> ah, most oh. true. She is a strumpet. Of what news? None, my lord, but that the world's grown honest. Then is doomsday near. But your news is not true. Let me question more in particular. What have you, my good friends, deserved at the hands of fortune that she sends you to prison hither? Prison, my lord? Denmark's a prison. Then is the world one. A goodly one, in which there are many confines, wards and dungeons, Denmark being one of the worst. We think not so, my lord. Why, then, tis none to you. For there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To me, it is a prison. Why then your ambition makes it one? It is too narrow for your mind. Oh, God! I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space. Were it not that I have bad dreams? But in the beaten way of friendship, what make you at Elsinore? To visit you, my lord. No other occasion. Beggar that I am, I'm even poor in thanks. But I thank you. Were you not sent for? Is it your own inclining? Is it a free visitation? Well, come, come! Nay, speak! What should we say, my lord? Why, anything but to the purpose. You were sent for, and there is a kind of confession in your looks which your modesties have not craft enough to colour. I know the good king and queen have sent for you. To what end, my lord? That you must teach me. Be even and direct with me whether you were sent for or no. My lord, we were sent for. Aha! I will tell you why.
Anon he finds him, striking too short at Greeks. His antique sword, rebellious to his arm, lies where it falls, repugnant to command. I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all my mirth. Forgone all custom of exercises, and indeed it goes so heavily with my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, look to you. This brave o'erhanging firmament, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire. Why? It appeareth nothing to me but a foul and pestilent congregation of vapours. What piece of work is man? How noble in reason. How infinite in faculties. In form and moving how express and admirable. In action how like an angel, in apprehension how like a god. The beauty of the world. The paragon of animals, and yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me, nor woman neither, though by your smiling you seem to say so. My lord, there was no such stuff in my thoughts. Why did you laugh then when I said man delights not me? And to think, my lord, if you delight not in man, what Lenten entertainment the players shall receive from you. We coated them on the way, and hither are they coming to offer you service. He that plays the king shall be welcome. Gentlemen, you are welcome to Elston. Oh, your hands, come then. You are welcome. But my uncle father and my aunt mother are deceived. In what, my dear lord? I am but mad north, northwest. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw. <laughs> well be with you, gentlemen. Hark you, Guildenstern, uh, and uh, you too, at each ear a hearer. That great baby you see there is not yet out of his swaddling clouts. I will prophesy he comes to tell me of the place. My lord. I have news to tell you. Uh, my lord, I have news to tell you. When Roscius was an actor in Rome. The actors are come hither, my lord. Buzz, buzz. Upon my honor. Then came each actor on his ass. The best actors in the world. Either for tragedy, comedy, history, pastoral, pastoral, comical, historical, pastoral, tragical, historical. The still sword, the unnerved father, fall. Then, senseless Ilium, seeming to feel his blow, with flaming top stoops to his base, and with a hideous crash, takes prisoner Pyrrhus here. For lo, his sword, which was declining to the milky head of brethren, had seen the Moblet Queen. Moblet Queen. That's good. Moblet Queen is good. Will you see the players well bestowed? Do you hear? Let them be well used, for they are the abstract and brief chronicles of the time. After your death, you will have a bad editor. My lord, I will use them according to their deserve. Oh, God's healthy man, much better. Use every man after his deserve. Use them after your The less they deserve, the more merit is in your bounty. Take them in. Can you play the murder of Gonzago? 
Aye, my lord. We'll have it tomorrow night. Yeah, you could for a yeah. next time. Yeah. 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 Follow that law. And look, you, mock him not. Let's be more careful. Sorry. My good friends, I'll leave you till night. You are welcome to Elsinore. Good, my lord. of his disposition. Negative question, but about imams most free in his reply. Did you assay him to any pastime? Madam, it so fell out that certain players we all brought on the way, of these we told him, and there did seem in him a kind of joy to hear of it. But they are here about the court this night to play before him. It is most true. And he beseeched me to entreat your majesties to hear and see the matter. Good gentlemen, give him a further edge and drive his purpose into these delights. We shall, my lord. Sweet Gertrude, leave us too. For we have closely sent for Hamlet hither, that he is to her by accident. We hear affront, Ophelia. be all my sins remembered my lord i have remembrances of yours that i have long and long to re-deliver i pray you now receive them no not i i never gave you aught my honored lord you know right well you did and with them words of so sweet breath composed as <laughs> oh no more I'm it hath made me mad! I say, we will have no more marriages. Those that are married already, all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To an enemy! Go! That didn't look like love to me. Love! His affections do not that way turn, nor what he spake, though it lacked form a little, was not like madness. Now, now, Ophelia, you need not tell us what Lord Hamlet said. We heard it all. There's something in his soul, oh, which his melancholy sits on brood, and I do doubt the hatch and the disclose will be some danger, which for to prevent, I have with quick determination thus set it down, he shall with speed to England. speak with you and presently do you see yonder cloud that's almost in the shape of a camel by the mass and tis like a camel indeed methinks it is like a weasel it is back like a weasel or like a whale very like a whale then i will come to my mother by and by i will say so a by and by is easily said Leave me, friends. No, by the root, not 
so you are the queen, your husband's brother's wife, and would it were not so you are my mother? Nay, then I'll set those to you that can speak. Come, come and sit you down, you shall not budge. You go not till I set you up a glass where you may see the inmost part of me. What will thou do? Thou wilt not murder me? Help! Help! <laughs> Bloody deed is this? A bloody deed. Almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry with his brother. As kill a king? Aye, lady, it was my word. Thou wretched, rash, intruding fool. Farewell. He's there. What's he doing? Sleeping. It's all right for him. What is? He can sleep. It's all right for him. He's got us now. He can sleep. It's all done for him. He's got us. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. Why don't you say something original? You don't take me up on anything. You just repeat everything I say in a different order. I can't think of anything original. I'm only good in support. I'm sick of making the running. <laughs> it's all right. I'll see we're all right. But we've got nothing to go on. We're out on our own. We're on our way to England. We're taking Hamlet to the English king. What for? What for? Where have you been? In. We've got a letter. You remember the letter. Do I? Everything is explained in the letter. Is that it, then? What? We take Hamlet to the English king, we hand over the letter. What then? That's it. <sighs> We're finished. Who is the English king? That depends on when we get there. So we've got a letter which explains everything. You've got it. I thought you had it. I do have it. You have it. You've got it. I don't get it. You haven't got it. I just said that. I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Shut up. Right. What a shambles. We're just not getting anywhere. Not even England. And I don't believe in it anyway. In what? England. Just a conspiracy of cartographers, you mean? I mean, I don't believe it. And even if it is true, the King of England won't know what we're talking about. What are we going to say? We say, Your Majesty, we have arrived. And who are you? And we are Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Never heard of you. Well, well nobody's... What's your game? We have our instructions. First I've heard of it. Let me finish! We've come from Denmark. What do you want? Nothing. We're delivering Hamlet. Who's he? You've heard of him. Oh, I've heard of him, all right, and I want nothing to do with it. You march in here without so much as a bar or leave and expect me to take in every lunatic you try to pass off with a lot of unsubstantiated... We've got a letter. I see. I see. Well, this seems to support your story, such as it is. It is an exact command from the King of Denmark, for several different reasons, importing Denmark's health and England's too, that on the reading of this letter, without delay, I should have Hamlet's head cut off.
The sight is dismal. And our affairs from England come too late. The ears are senseless that should give us hearing. To tell him his commandment is fulfilled. That Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead.